friends if the pupil is small cataract is soft and the uncooperative patient is under topical anesthesia you may have a tough time as i had in this case the small people are taken care of by applying a bhex people expander the capsule was stained with tribando dye viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and now a capsular excess of about 5 mm size is being completed at this moment so the rexis has been completed till this time the case went quite well and now hydrodissection is being done BSS has been taken in a 2 cc syringe attached to a 27 gauge cannula and the fluid is being passed underneath the anterior capsular rim at several points. In this case, I could not see any fluid wave and actually what has happened, probably some air bubble has gone behind. And now I'm trying to pass some fluid underneath the anterior capsular rim at 6 o'clock and trying to mobilize the nucleus but in this case the capsulocortical addition was uh, not in not like in other cases it was a bit sticky since i can do feco even without hydro i didn't bother much so though the nucleus didn't rotate nicely i proceeded with feco so here what I'm doing is I'm trying to chop the nucleus into two parts though the nucleus is soft here I have buried the tip at the center of the nucleus and I'm chopping it and I have been able to divide the nucleus into two halves but here as I try to make another chop the nuclear mass came off so it became like a bowl over there and wherever I am trying to catch the nucleus it is just coming off though the vacuum is 300 in this case flow rate is 30 and FECO power is only 40% wherever I am trying to hold the nuclear mass it is just coming off here now the nucleus is rotating but I am not able to lift up on hemineucleus so here I have injected viscoelastic substance and I can see that the two hemineucleus is totally separated but I cannot lift up on hemineucleus over the other and emuls emulsify it easily. Again, I inject viscoelastic substance and this is an iris spatula. I'm trying to lift up on him, but this instrument is quite thick and I could not use that. So again, I go into the anterior chamber and I'm trying to hold the inner edge of hemine one hemineucleus I'm trying to separate the two yes I have separated it and as I place at the inner edge again some nuclear piece came out it was just shaving of the nuclear mass and I could not lift it off so I come out again inject some viscoelastic substance and this visco cannula is introduced through the side foot for fixation and I take the chopper and rotating this whole nuclear mass and somehow this fragment could be prolapsed. So this is dish technique D I S A S do it somehow. Dish technique is not a disparate technique. Dish technique is you are using all your experiences 
you're being calm and composed. You're using your intuition to complete the case. You're very safe, but it is no clear-cut technique. It is combination of all techniques, combination of all your experiences. This is what I call dish technique. Do it somehow. And I could remove the nuclear mass and the epinucleus. I'm sorry, at this field, the microscope was not nicely centered. Now it is centered again. And now cortical cleanup is to be done. In this case, cortical cleanup is being done with the help of a Simco cannula. You can very well do it with bimanual irrigation aspiration and or a coaxial irrigation. While using coaxial in presence of BHEX, be very careful not to cause dislodgement of the BHEX while you introduce the coaxial IA. And now the cortex from the sub incisional area is being removed. Little bit of cortex is there at 2 o'clock. I had a tough time in removing that with Simco. Dear colleagues, we must remember that in small people, we must try to do good hydro and rotate the nucleus as well as epinucleus nicely. We must try it before introducing the Hego handpiece, which I did not do in this case. I am a very conf confident surgeon and I thought I will be able to do it, though the hydro is not good, because I have done FECO even without hydro. But it didn't work in this case because there is BHEX, people is not dilated, I cannot see. Now my field of vision is small. After cortical cleanup, in this case visco was injected and an a foldable intraocular lens was implanted in the capsular bag and and then the after dialing the lens in the capsular bag, the BHEX ring was removed. All this portion has been edited out. After hydrating the side ports, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. You can see that the people is round, the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag. The antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be better and do better.